The uterine cavity is a virtual cavity that contains the endometrial fluid. The average volume of endometrial fluid that we expect to obtain from the uterine cavity ranges from 10 to 50 microliters. And this is the liquid that we need to collect so that we can analyze both the human RNA and the bacterial DNA that we need for our endometrial receptivity test. This is the easiest way to access this cavity to obtain the endometrial fluid in such a way that we don't generate any problem neither for the patient nor for her subsequent pregnancy outcome. The required material to perform the extraction of endometrial fluid will be provided to the clinician and uh, is as follows. We need a speculum to visualize the cervix, a transfer catheter that will be inserted into the cervix, a 10 ml syringe that we will connect to the transfer catheter that will aim to do the proper vacuum to extract the endometrial fluid, and once the fluid is obtained, it must be introduced into the provided cryotube. The instruction will be also included. All this material will be provided to the gynecologist in this kit. Introduce the speculum in the vagina. Cleanse the vagina with a dry cotton swab to eliminate any mucus or residual progesterone. Introduce the catheter into the vagina to enter the cervical os and go into the uterine cavity. In the introduction of the catheter into the vagina, it must be avoid any contact with the vaginal walls. Then it will enter through the cervical os to the uterus when it must be also avoided touching the uterine fundus or scratching the walls of the uterus. Once the catheter is introduced inside the uterine cavity, remove the mandrill or guide. Hold the catheter in a fixed position and connect a 10 ml syringe to start the aspiration by carefully actioning the plunger 3-4 times. It is normal to feel negative pressure when actioning the plunger and also that the plungers come forward when aspiring. Holding the aspiration, move the catheter outwards and stop suction at the entrance of the internal cervical os. At this moment the plunger will come back to its original position. Remove the catheter connected to the syringe, avoiding any contact with the vaginal walls. Clean the external surface of the catheter with a sterile gauze to eliminate cervical mucus. As the plunger is back to the original position, the syringe must be disconnected from the catheter to gather some air, discharging the liquid against the internal side of the tube. Shake vigorously a few times to ensure that the sample is completely mixed with the preserving solution within the tube. Label the cryotube with the patient data and keep it in the refrigerator, not the freezer, for a minimum of 4 hours. Now the sample is ready to be shipped.